service announced. These videos have the full intentions to be used as conversational tools and purposes only. Anything that is expressed in these videos and videos before and after has the sole purpose of that reason. I know a lot of this stuff is repetitive. I hope that you can understand that. Again, these are for conversational purposes only. The comment box on these videos is for that purpose. Thanks for watching. I made a video a couple of days ago talking about Big Chief then versus now or then up until now and it done well um, as most of my Big Chief related videos do. I do that to keep my channel relative and to keep views at a certain point to where YouTube promotes my channel like it needs to be. It's not because I'm swinging from his as a lot of people think. Most people don't understand that I actually get paid to do this. They think I'm sitting around on a couch and just have a fascination with Big Chief and want to make videos about it, and that's not the case. The way YouTube comments work is the bigger the channel or the more that someone comments on the channel, that's the notifications I get. I don't get a notification from each comment is posted on my videos that's thousands so YouTube has some sort of algorithm where they pick whose you know comment gets sent directly to me and I had one that caught my eye Big Chief himself has commented on my videos in the past I've had Limpy I've had JJ I've had several people comment on before I've had people send me DMs through social media and actually talked on the telephone to several guys from the racing, street racing, street outlaws world. And it has all been actually pretty positive. The only thing that was negative was the thing JJ said, which, you know, any publicity is good publicity. JJ, all he done when he went off on me was made everyone go and watch my video and earn me money. Simple as that. My job is to put it out there in a different way than the show put it out there. To give you a different aspect than the show gave to you. To give a reason why this was done and that was done. And when there's an off season like right now, there's not a lot going on for me to make videos on and for me to stay relevant for YouTube to keep promoting my channel I have to come up with stuff like the last video and Big Chief whether you love him hate him used to like him like him more now whatever the case might be is and always will be a big topic in that world or the world that my channel is you know based around and those videos have to exist for me to keep content coming now with that being said I made a video now with that being said before I teamed up with Tom 80 from Tom 80 videos to get my b-roll or overlaying videos I wasn't sure on the copyright stuff and I did use some stuff that was infringed upon and my highest viewed videos I had one about Chief and the evolution of the crow that had somewhere amongst two million views and it got taken down due to copyright so I have teamed up with Tom 80 and used his stuff with his permission so those videos aren't on my channel anymore and with those videos Midwest Street Cars was not the ones who said that I used their stuff it was some third party group who owned a lot of different publications, a drag zine and several things, and I had used a picture of Kai Kelly and Big Chief and that was the problem. So those videos are gone, but I say all that to say this. I have talked to several people since this channel has been going. I got a message from Midwest about that. I got a message from JJ about me talking about his show. I got a message from Limpy talking about how things used to be. 
I have talked on the phone with Jamie Ott with the Killer Cab. I have talked on the phone and actually have become pretty good friends with Eric Malone from Fastest Cars of the Dirty South. And all of this is a honor really to me because it shows that the work that I have put in has been paying off. But one of the biggest things that has happened in my channel in that aspect come from my last video. And it was from Big Chief directly. He sent me a message talking about the video that I made talking about him. And I will put it on the screen right now, as well as I'm gonna read through it real quick and that way you can see exactly what he said. Wow, everything you said is fairly accurate. Apart from the rehab thing, this life I live is difficult to understand on a daily basis. Doesn't matter if you think I chose this life or I woke up semi-famous one day. The bottom line is I make dumb decisions because I don't know any better. I'm learning as I go and being famous takes some getting used to. There are so many people that depend on me and there just isn't enough time in the day to make everyone happy. Going through struggles in my personal life make it hard for me to be myself in public. I'm always trying to find ways to better in every aspect of my life. I'm not sure if I'll be back to my old self, but I am working toward being a better version of my new self. And the reason that that comment made me, I guess, happy is a couple of reasons. One is he watched it, and two, he didn't just initially hate it and go off on me and, you know, say that I was wrong and all that, which it wouldn't have changed anything if he did, but it does add a little bit more fuel to what I'm doing within myself. I was getting tired of the same type videos over and over and over, trying to figure out a way to revamp the channel, trying to figure out new things to incorporate, and I was just drawing blanks or if the things I come up with was a huge financial decision that with a infant I just couldn't do right now or whatever, but that reinforced for me to keep going. So you have to find little tiny things within bigger things to talk about that most people skim through or skim over or talk around the water cooler at work about but it never gets brought to the average person's you know attention so that's what i have been trying to do here lately while nothing's going on i understand no prep kings is live right now i understand that jj is filming right now as well as the 405 but nothing is coming on television and that's the biggest thing i can talk about no prep kings but it is stuff that I'm not 100% certain on how something went down, so I prefer not to. I can tell you who wins. I have done that in a couple, the Lizzie Music video being one of them. But I'm just trying to stay relevant right now while everything is off the air, and that is why these videos have been coming random and out of order, so to speak, like they have. With that being said, that was my biggest point I have wanted to make in these videos or in this video, so there you go. I don't know if you got anything from this video, but to the haters who, you know, say who is this guy, what's this guy talking about, and then put a bunch of laughing emojis, there you go. Thank you very much for watching. The email address to this channel is on the screen. The P.O. Box to this channel is on the screen. Anything you want me to know, say, do, or have, hit it there. Thank you for watching. Godspeed, and I will see you in the next one. That way, look at everybody. Everybody's looking at you. You gonna look at everybody? Look up here. Look. Say, hey, baby. Say, I'm the boss. Say, I'm the boss. Yeah. Hey, baby. This is Miss Harper. She hasn't officially been introduced to the channel. She is a little over four months old now, and I wanted to I wanted to put her in to begin the video. I've got several of my son, and I just thought that she needed to be in the beginning of one. So everybody say hi. She is the future of the channel, future of the world. Who knows? But before I kick this video off, I just wanted to introduce her to y'all.